Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Susie and my channel is called Light Fragments Oracle. I'm so happy that you are here with me today. We are going to do a soul challenge. My creator friend here on YouTube and also on Instagram, Leanna Dalton, puts up soul challenges for all of us if we are interested. And the name of the soul challenge is The Magic of Aging. So while I put on some new makeup today, I am going to give you my idea of the magic of aging because it truly is magical on a metaphysical and reality level. I had mentioned to you guys that I got in some products that I had ordered from QVC. I'm going to put these products on in dribs and drabs. I have the second half of my purchase waiting at the post office. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Skin Sun Touchable Woe Glow in SPF 30. I don't want my skin to be affected. And this morning I did a pretty simple application of skincare because last night I really packed on my skincare before I went to bed. And this morning, all I did was splash warm water on my face. And I toned my skin. I knew that I was going to be putting this on my skin. This is also a makeup primer, but it is really hydrating too. So because I packed on some pretty heavy moisture last night, I don't need, I'm putting a sep second application. When this runs out, I'm going to get some. I think this is going to be my go-to sunscreen. I really like it. It did not make my skin break out. It plays nicely with foundation, the ones that I've used. And I really like it a lot. So when that little sample runs out, which will be very quickly... I will be finally invested in the SPF on my face. So let me show you the product that I got in the mail. This came as a bundle. So I got two of these products and one is going into my 24,000 hit subscriber giveaway. I'm excited about some of the things that I'm going to be putting in the giveaway. And the the items that I'm picking up at the post office is also a bundle. So one of those will be going into the giveaway. And whatever I collect between now and 24,000 subscribers thereabouts will be going in the giveaway. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell. I can tell if you've subscribed or not. But I'm trying to build up my channel. I have a goal. Three years from now, or about two and a half years from now, I will be downsizing my business and doing YouTube full time. And I will be doing a lot of things. So let me put my glasses on so I can read to you the product that I'm going to be using today for foundation. This product I purchased several years ago by It Cosmetics, the Celebration Foundation. And I used this all the way down till it was around the rim. I loved it so much. And every time I use this product, I get compliments on my skin. This is a full coverage 
not anti, pro-aging, hydrating power foundation. It says anti-aging, but since this channel is about age and the magic of it, I will be replacing anti-aging on everything that says anti-aging when I do my videos. I am pro aging. I am pro authenticity. I am pro being the best you can be at the age that you are at and celebrating that. So there's no anti anything for me. It comes with a little sponge applicator and with the bundle, I received the It Cosmetics Heavenly Lux Flat Top Buffing Foundation Brush. I've wanted this brush, but I didn't want to pay just for the brush. And I got this as an added bonus for ordering the bundle. Look at this brush. So I'm going to put this foundation on my skin over my SPF with the puff and I'm going to buff it in with this brush. And honestly, whenever I use this foundation, no matter where I went, people told me that my skin looked beautiful. I am going to swipe in. This is the color medium. So if you have the same shade or tone to your skin as I do, you may want to pick up the medium. And that will be in my giveaway as well. So if you have medium skin and you want to enter the giveaway, this is an expensive product. And I'm just going to brush this over my skin. I'm telling you, the medium is a perfect match to my skin. So let's talk about the topic, the magic of aging. When I was growing up, and I actually was already married, and I had a couple of kids and my mom was still alive, I used to talk to her about aging and how she felt about it. And my mother believed in aging gracefully. And I know a lot of people don't like that term, aging gracefully, because it implies you don't really talk about it. You don't really, you know, emphasize your age. You don't really tell people. You just kind of grow into your age with ease and grace. But there is another side to that term, aging gracefully. What that means is to be unapologetically your age. In my mother's day, women didn't have YouTube channels. Women weren't out in the circuit, you know, pushing makeup and things like that. They, they did what worked for them and they went about their business just being who they were. And they would, you know, maybe get together with coffee clutches or have makeup parties to learn how to put makeup on differently but it wasn't really a thing to not age it was a given you aged you got older particularly women you started you know to notice different things after you had your children you you know went through menopause you got gray hair, you um, had wrinkles. And my mother was not the kind of woman that spent hundreds of dollars on products to save her skin. 
Number one, she was a sun worshiper. She loved being out in the sun. Um, she used to sunbathe on a regular basis when we were young. And then as she got older and became retired, would go on trips to Florida or the Cape with my older sister and um, sunbathe. So, you know, she didn't really use sunscreen and she never had skin cancer because my mother had dark skin to begin with. The melanin in her skin would just blow up one day in the sun. But the whole concept of aging gracefully doesn't necessarily mean in my day and age that you shut your mouth, that you don't talk about it, that you, you keep quiet about it, that you just do what you do and be who you are and not make a big fuss about it. Well, I am a person that is against the anti-aging term. I'm going to buff this in now with my flat It Cosmetics brush. Buffing is really important with any kind of powder foundation, I believe. So I'm going to swirl this and buff the powder into my pores. And it also gives this foundation a beautiful sheen. You may not see it on camera, but you will see it as the sun hits it. It's not a matte. It is more of a sheen, a slight natural Sheen. Now, I did go under my eyes and I did go over my eyes with this. I already did my eyebrows this morning. As I mentioned earlier, I really do not want to put on any kind of facade. I don't want to make people think that I am younger than I am. I'm 64 years old. And on July 28th, I will be turning 65. And I've talked about this so many times on my channel. But if you were to ask me, what age would you rather be? 65 or 25? Hands down, I would say 65. There is a freedom that comes with aging. Yes, there are challenges, aching joints, uh, some health issues, the skin changes, the hair turns gray, but part of aging gracefully is embracing this. And with that, there is power. There is power because when you embrace what your body is giving you, you are telling the world with a smile on your face and the makeup that you love to put on and the clothes that you love to wear and the exuberance of being the age that you are, that it's okay to age. In fact, it's a privilege that is denied to many. My old neighbor from the neighborhood that I used to live in died at 32 years old, leaving behind four children from breast cancer, migrated into her liver. That was the end of her life. And it happened very quickly. My point is, when you look at the scope of that, does it really matter that you have some wrinkles around your eyes or over your lips? Or you're getting wrinkles in your forehead? 
does that really matter? When you look back at your life and you look at all that you've accomplished, we come into our lives to learn lessons and to have experiences that will grow us into the people that we are today. There are some things that I don't like about my, my skin. I don't like that I'm popping up with little moles. I don't like that, that, you know, I'm now getting wrinkles right here. I never had those 10 years ago. I looked at my pictures, you know, but I laugh a lot. I have an expressive face. You know, when I'm, when I'm really intent on something, I tend to do this or when I'm reading or confused. These are the military stripes that we have earned primarily as women. That it's okay to show them off. And it's okay to put makeup on them that we want to put on. I don't care what they're saying out there. A makeup artist at 40 or 30 can tell you how to apply your makeup and what you should do as you get older. And, oh, you shouldn't put the black liquid eyeliner right here under your eye. And you shouldn't put it. It's too harsh. Well, there is a little bit of truth to that. But what if I want to do it? I've earned my stripes. Am I going to listen to what they have to say? I respect it. Definitely respect it. But when they become 65, 70, or even 80, they may feel differently. They may want to put makeup on that way or not. So as we age and as we gain experiences that shape us and shape our personalities, we learn that it's okay to be a nonconformist. It's okay to stick up for ourselves. It's okay to be bold in a respectful way. It's okay to say, I disagree. It's okay to be powerful within our own right and share that experience with others. Because as we age, we become wise and we become mentors for the younger generation. I've lived a lot of life and I've made a lot of mistakes. And I pretty much know what works for me. It may not work for the younger generation out there, but it definitely worked for me. And it can be debated in today's society. But I'm still going to share it. And I'm still going to let you know how I feel. Regardless. I am putting the Fit Me Concealer on over this It Cosmetic Foundation. It's very light, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I need this. I have dark circles. They are hereditary. My mother had them. They're very hereditary. So I'm just going to take my finger and pat this in. It is lighter, see? But in order for me to be able to get the dark circles to not be so apparent, I have to do it this way. I have to go lighter and then darker. Okay, that does not look too bad. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Jones Road pencil and I'm just going to go in my tear trough. Maybe a little below that. There. I don't look like a raccoon. Let me see if I can cover that up with a second application of the It Cosmetics Foundation. I believe I can. So I'm going to rub it in. And I'm going to pat over my spots. And I'm going to pat. Look it. It works. I love the softness of this celebration foundation. Now what I'm going to do, since I'm older, and this is a trick. This is a trick for you if you have mature skin and you want to use a foundation like this. Break out your setting spray before you put on your blush or anything else. I put a lot on. I go up and down and then side to side. And let that sit. The other thing that I wanted to tell you about the magic of aging is how it is a magical experience. And it really doesn't appear magical until it's in hindsight. And when it's in hindsight, you can see how things worked out. Even with negative choices that you or I may have made, we can look back and we can see how much we have grown, how much wiser we have become. And that if it weren't, and that if it weren't for those experiences, we would, I've got the hiccups, go figure. And if it weren't for those experiences, we would not be the people that we are today. So the magic happens simultaneously without us knowing it. And as we mature and we, be, we enter our 60s and 70s, we are more aware of that magic taking place in real time. We've learned how to observe all around us because we've had to become observers in order to navigate our lives. And in that, we see the magical, mystical aspect of aging. And that is why I'm not going to throw shade on anybody that has used Botox or gotten a facelift or plumped up their lips or done any of those things. If that's what they want to do, if that's what you want to do because you can't handle the way you look, the way you are, that's your prerogative. But for me... I'm going to let everybody see where I've come from. I want them to see it. I don't want to put those chemicals under my skin. I don't want to have anything injected into me that could potentially harm me. And by the way, we don't know enough about any of this stuff. 
oftentimes it takes 30 years before we even realize the harmful effects. So, the magical, mystical aspect of aging happens very slowly until we reach that point of awareness where we can actually see it happening in real time. And that metamorphosis began the minute we popped out of the womb. It's true. And so I agree with Leanna. I want to go out and transition from this life with a bang. I want to be the best version of myself that I can be and still experience all of the things that life has to offer me before I leave this earth, maybe even as I'm leaving this earth. So if you take away anything from this video, understand this. You might not always like what's going on here or what's happening to your body. But there are some things that we can do. Having a happy outlook on life. Being at peace with who we are. Learning how to let go of things we have no control over. Knowing that we don't always have to be right. Sometimes peace is so much better than being right. Learning to embrace what we've been given via the experiences and the lessons that we have learned thus far. Okay, let's get on with the rest of the makeup. I hope that you make today a great day and I hope that you have the opportunity to go within and find that best version of yourself while embracing who you are at the age that you're at and observing the magic from where you've come to now in the aging process. Rejoice in it. Embrace it. It's powerful. I'm using my cold moon palette because it's new. I am going to put on this sage green as a transition color because it's very soft. So I'm going to put that right in my crease. Now, I was watching Robert Welsh put on some inexpensive eyeshadow, and it's just amazing to watch him put on eyeshadow. And, and he went out, you know, he goes out, he does this halo effect. I don't like to do that because if you look real close, you can see that I have a lot of wrinkles here. I don't really want to accentuate that I like to make the cut line and stop it about here, but I don't want to go way out and up. It just does not look good on me. It shows everything, except for if I'm showing somebody, like when I did the crease cut video for the first time that people said horrible things in the comment section. Hey, I thought I did a good job for the very first time doing it. I have, I have, you know, I'm not an MUA. I just go by my intuition and my artistic ability. That's it. So, yeah, I start about here and I go in and then I do the windshield wiper technique. And I will brush a little bit what's left over on my brush down onto my eyelid. 
Then I'm going to go in with, I think I'm going to use this color right here. And I, I'm just, these colors are so pigmented that I'm just tapping this in and I'm going to put that right here, right underneath my brow bone. And I'm going to drag that over on top of my eyelid. I'm going for a very soft look today and I'm going to put on my blush, my mascara and lipstick off camera so this is not a long video for you. I'm just going to bring a little bit of that over My eyelid, same on the other side. Then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Because if you have mature skin, this helps. I did, I did this by experiment, and I actually just saw a makeup artist do this on an older woman but I would like a little bit of darker underneath there so I'm gonna go in with this color right here and I'm just touching the tip and I just want to put a little bit of darkness in my corner I don't even want to drag it under I just want to put a little bit of darkness in my corner because what that does is it gives the illusion that the eye is moving out, that your eyes are wider. That's what that does. Like if I don't want to put a wing on today, you know, a wing eyeliner, I'm just going to take that dark brown and I'm just going to bring it out a little bit. This shimmer right here. Now, these shimmers in this palette are very buttery, very pigmented. And you will get fallout. So if you don't like any fallout on your face, don't put it on. I don't care. I love little sparkles on my face. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my Jones Road pencil again and I'm I'm putting it I want a crisp line here so I am cleaning it up with this I'm just going to drag it and smudge it in with my concealer brush same with on this side I'm just going to drag it and smudge it in with my concealer brush it does give a nice crisp illusion and I personally like doing it okay my friends this is the finished look take a look at this foundation it is just it's beautiful I actually didn't go down my neck with it And I told you this is what I'm going to do. Now that I have my eyeshadow on and I have my lips done and I put my favorite bronzer, which is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, I'm looking for a good neutral cool bronzer for under here. Not, not a bronzer, but a contour, powder contour. I like powder. I prefer powder to cream. And because I feel like I can really control the powder. And I'm going to put on one more application of the setting spray. And this is by far my favorite setting spray. I've tried little samples. I love it. I know it's more expensive, but it doesn't feel heavy on my skin. The smell is beautiful. I, I like to go over my eyes with it. 
and I wait for it to dissipate a little bit before I open my eyes. No burning, no stinging. And this is it. Really simple eye look today. If you have a channel on YouTube and you want to join in with me and Leanna to do the magic of aging soul challenge please do and please tag me in your video be well be blessed be beautiful because you are because there is nobody else on the planet like you god loves you spirit loves you and so do i in an etheric kind of way because I can't physically be there where you are. So big cyber hug and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.